Space junk, tiny pieces of debris that break off rockets and remain in orbit, is becoming a massive challenge for the fast-growing satellite industry. There are now at least a quarter of a million pieces of space junk, about the size of a golf ball or larger, whizzing around in low Earth orbit, an area stretching from about 160 kilometers to 2,000 kilometers above the Earth. Traveling up to seven times as fast as a bullet, even a fleck of paint can cripple craft or equipment. The number of nations using satellites has grown steadily over the past 50 years, and it continues to climb. There are now about 2,000 active satellites in orbit, and the satellite business accounts for around three quarters of a global space industry worth about $350 billion. But that figure is predicted to reach over $1 trillion by 2040, thanks to rising demand for satellites in everything from telecoms to internet connectivity, GPS services, defense systems, and weather monitoring. In a bid to solve the space junk problem, a growing number of private companies and public bodies are developing technologies aimed at tracking and retrieving or destroying debris. Last year, the Remove Debris Project, a consortium led by Surrey University, successfully tested a net to snare space junk. In February, it managed to catch a piece of space junk using a harpoon. In both cases, the plan is to drag the captured junk down into the Earth's atmosphere, where it should harmlessly burn up. Leo Labs, a Silicon Valley-based startup, is deploying a network of powerful radars around the world to provide collision avoidance services and data for a fee to satellite providers, governments and companies developing the new wave of space-based services. In 2020, Singaporean company Astroscale hopes to test target and chaser satellites that will attach themselves to junk and take it down to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Full commercial viability for any space junk removal plan is still some time away, but the need for a solution is building up as quickly as the junk itself.